is why you let me so hang on! Damn it, James! So one of the coolest things is we were looking for the wagon tracks, right? Where the wagons, the ore wagons had grooved out the soft volcanic rock. Now there was a mill that was closer to the town of Pinal, but the smelter was outside and we came on the back side. This is absolutely fascinating. Look at these bolts. Now, I don't know what got put in this side. I don't know what was over here, but then again, there's bricks. There's modern, more modern day. When I say modern day bricks, you know, uh, they were from the smelter, so they're eight, late 1800s. But man, this is fascinating. Just the old cans that we, we've run across. I mean, the old garbage. Uh, we're gonna go over where the foundations are at right now. But man, James, isn't this spectacular? Yeah, this is really amazing out here, man. I can't wait to see the wagon track. Now, the great thing is they're marked specifically. Number six is where we're at on, on the map. And then seven's over there. So it's not like these are lost, but you got to do a little trek. And the road was pretty shady. So you get to the very top of the peak because what this is is build up. Now, if you look in the background, James, what you see is, you know, Picket Post Mountain right here behind us. Now we know the Indian ruins are right over here, okay? And then on the very top of this peak, uh, there was some type of structure, it could have been office, it looks like a house, but it was a pretty good size. And you can see the foundation laid out all the way around it. I mean, this is, this is to me is really spectacular because uh, you know, they, they got rid of this area pre-1900. Now, here's a nice step down right here. And, 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 you know, this is a really nice piece right here. Look at this. And then the structure, all the foundations, and it looked like it stepped up, or this house stepped down, which looks like it would have been a pretty nice place. But this, I mean, this is still, to me, and, you know, what's really cool is, Instead of people taking some of this stuff, what they did was, you know, when they found some of these bricks, they stacked them, which is really cool. Uh, I, I just, it's really neat to get in here and look at these, these old bricks. Uh, and then some people have just found stuff and, 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 you know, just stacked them. So you can kind of take a look. And then if you find something, man, stack, put some other stuff on here. Look at that. Well, I'm not even sure what that was. Almost looks like a, I'm not even sure. Unless this were rocks that were melted, you know. Look at that. How incredible is this? Now let's go down to where the foundations are, James, and take a look. Take everybody with you. Now what did they call that, James? What was this called? The, what did you say? The Legends of Superior Trail. Okay. We on? Yeah. So, what we're on is the Legends of Superior Trail, and this is number six, and we're also going to go to number seven. Also, uh, you might want to go hiking when it's a little cooler than this, don't you think, James? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little warm out here today, but uh, you know, just this little area is so fascinating. So you could come over, you could take a look at the Indian ruins, yeah, you, you could actually take a look to where they found a lot of Apache tears. Okay, you could then take the trail, and if you wanted to hike, come right over into here to six and seven. You'll see that the uh, the wagon train trail is down here. But if you look down here, you'll see the foundation. So, so there's still remnants of of uh, steel barb that are in the ground right now. Now we're down here where this the structure would have been. If you look down in here, foundation, look at that brick right there, James. Isn't that awesome? Now, this was a big structure. This was not a small structure. We've got our friendly jets flying above. Look at this brick here, James. Man, that's cool. Look how big that brick was. 
Man, that is awesome. This was a major, this was a major structure. Look at this thing, it runs all the way across through here. All this structure through here, look at that. I'll tell you what, this is spectacular. All the way over here, and then this big wall through here, and I'm sure part of the process was they needed a lot of water. So, man, look at that rock lake. Wow, that is absolutely spectacular. Man, it's all the way over here. Definitely want to be careful and don't fall down and get impaled on a... There's a rattlesnake uh, skin, which is always good. Look at this structure all the way through here. This is incredible. This place was huge. This was a huge operation. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. He ain't gonna be out in the sun. So, foundation's still through here. Foundation's here, rebar through here. Okay. Now, look at this. They cut this out here. This is unbelievable. This was an operation. You know, you go back in your head, James, I don't know about you, but can you imagine the sound of this operation coming through this valley? I imagine when it was running, it was deafening. And there's the road we trail we were on. Yep. So it comes right around this corner. I think that was it. And then you look down here where the water was into the creek. And I'm trying to see if this was a natural groove or not. It's a down tree down there. Wow. Man, this, this was, look at this. Okay, now what was this? So, they had taken that out and then they had concreted it in and then put a hole. So some type of pipe came out of there. There's more holes here. Man, this is cool. You look around here and the remnants of this place are just unbelievable. It really is overwhelming to think that this big facility was out here. You know, James made a big point too. You, can you imagine what this thing sounded like with the, with the stamp mill and the smelter and all this stuff going on when you had this mill going? Uh, how incredible that was. I, it was unbelievable. There's no doubt that uh, this was a, a spectacular operation. And you talk about loud. It would have been unbelievably loud to hear this mill going off. But just the remnants are still here of how big this was. Just shows you how big of an operation this was. Now we're going to go over to the wagon tracks and take a look at that. Because that's going to be just as incredible as what we're seeing up here. I think it's number seven on the trail, isn't it, James? I so. so let's go take a look. So we got off trail a little bit because we were looking for these wagon tracks where the deepest grooves are. And you know, over this... James went, oh man, look at this. Look at this dug this well right here. This is spectacular. I mean, this is incredible. And you can see it was machined because there's a, there's a steel post right there. But if you look at the walls, it's, uh, you know, I don't know, 50 feet, something like that down. It's absolutely spectacular. 
that this is down here and nobody would nobody would have known this we just stumbled into this this is something that you just wouldn't have saw and i don't even know if we could find it again could we <laughs> we'd get lucky if we did because we were just following the creek which uh man this is incredible isn't it man you don't see stuff like that that's a beautiful uh well it actually is You know, we're going through this creek bed, and you know, we saw up this up the stream is where James found that well, which was pretty incredible itself. Now, all along this this area is debris, glass, pieces of glass. Uh, I mean, not a little, a lot. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff along this creek, and it's not just a little bit. Man, it is all up and down this creek. So I'm trying to figure out where it would have came from. You know, and here, here's like green glass. And this white piece right here, and there's a lot of blue glass. And I mean, you're looking at it, it's like, where did all this come from? Because there's nothing really down here. Well, this is all old trash from the Canal City, and then it gets all collected together in the sand, I imagine. I'll tell you what, we searched high and low. Everywhere we thought they would be, the main roads, and they weren't there. And James just took a, he took a eastbound lane. Look at the tracks that these ore carts coming from the Silver King, look at this. It's almost, it's incredible. I mean, look how deep these are. And we would have never found them. I thought maybe they were covered up. I thought maybe that you know, we just missed them. But man, I tell you what, how cool is this? Look how deep these are. Can you imagine the weight of, say, a 20 mule team coming down through here? And look how it grooved these out of here. I mean, but you would not find these. They're not where you think they are. Uh, the road that we thought they were on is what? About a half block, James, over there? And here they are. This is absolutely spectacular. Look how deep these tracks are in the rock. You can imagine the weight they were carrying coming down through here. But again, we would have never dreamed that these were down here. I mean, this is fabulous. I, I just never believed that, that you know, I, I thought maybe the dust covered them up because it said it was basically on the road that went to the 60. And it's, that is not where they're at. Wow, I tell you what, James, isn't this, this made it worthwhile. And this looks like where the, where the mules steps. And they were consistent too, because look at that. That's exactly what that looks like it was, is these mules that came up and, and they even hit these so many times that they put indentions all the way up. But I mean, that is incredible. Look at the depth of that. Look at that wall, sheer wall that that metal on that, on that. You know, one of the great things is, man, look at the depth of these tracks. This is absolutely unbelievable that these would come down this hill, mule trains just loaded to the hilt, and solid rock.